Good morning, good evening, you beautiful bastard. It's your boy Reese Chanson, and today on the Let's Netflix and Show podcast, we're talking stand up and we're looking at my man. He's not my man, I'm just like <clears throat> Pete Holmes titled I Am Not for Everyone. So I'm gonna find out if this man is really um I am already a few minutes in. I have not laughed once. Man talked about New Year's Eve. How it's ridiculous that we only celebrate January 1st. Is it because the ones and ones are next to each other? Sorry about that. And he also talked about how the shadow government or the government is monitoring us by, you know, tracking our phones and all that. And we know about it, but we're not revolting. Did not find that hilarious at all. And he talked about buying a dildo, apparently, for the supposed listening in government. Also, did not find that funny. Um, so far, Pete Holmes is not funny for me. For me. But hey, man might surprise me. We never know. You never get. <laughs> I chuckled a little bit. I chuckled because he was talking about being hugged. About where he prefers either being, you know, um, a, a, a muscular man with big chest and muscle, like, or just a slim guy with chubby and cush. So he's like hugging a muscular guy is like, um, you know, hugging something with no emotion because it's hard and shit. But hugging a chubby person, there's extra cushion, there's extra suction. Like he's a memory foam, memory foam mattress of some sort. So when you hug him, he remembers. You feel warm. You express your feelings. Giving you that warm, fuzzy feeling, which is grand. Okay, this man is the type of one. He just made a joke about marriage. He talked about how he was a virgin, he got married to his virgin wife at 22. And the whole idea that he had to go to her father to ask for her hand in marriage, which with subtitles is basically him saying, Sir, can I fuck your daughter? And hey, here's the day I want to fuck her on. And hey, uh, you're going to pay for me fucking her on the event. Like, don't pay for the rooms too. And hey, you're going to walk her down the aisle and hand her to me. And I'll take over from here and fuck the living shit out of her. When you think about it that way, it's cold. It's very cold. Now, granted, if she's not a virgin, not like he, he's, he's, he's like he's handing over a used car. But she, if she's a virgin... He's literally saying to a man, yes, you, sir, can fuck my daughter. And while you at it, here's a free party to celebrate you fucking me daughter. Now, that... Okay. I finished the special. Written and performed by Pete Holmes. He talks about a lot of things. I fell asleep halfway through. I don't know if I was just bored or not feeling it. They had moments of laughter there and there, but it wasn't Dave Chappelle, haha, funny, Cat Williams type of funny, but it was decent. He's really good. He's got great delivery. He's got great uh, punchlines, great storytelling in a bit. He, he does a great comeback. He's actually a good comedian. For some weird reason, I just didn't feel him. I don't know if it's a racial thing or a cultural thing. I just didn't feel him. So, I'm giving it 2 out of 5 stars. Because I chuckled a few times. I didn't laugh. So, that in itself for a stand-up special is a problem for me. It's not like... His, 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 his jokes are not political. They're just funny shit that, that, that works for a particular crowd, in my opinion. But um, it just happened not to be the, the right drem- demographic for it. That's just my opinion on it. Besides that, everything else is the same. It works out fine for me, so it's just a pity it didn't work out in that regard. But besides that, it's a great show. Now that was entertaining. You just listened to an episode of the Let's Netflix and Show podcast with Reese Jansen. With that being said, remember to support the podcast on Patreon. And let's hang out another time. Adios, folks.